Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Going Gainesville. I'm Leslie, your host and the owner of Salmon Home Realty, and I'm here with one of our co-hosts, regular on the program. Thanks for having me again, Leslie. I'm Joe Brown with Caliber Home Loans. And we are joining today. I'm Stacy Kessinger. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for Virginia Crossing. Well, thank you so much for having us out here and telling, talking to the community about one of the only places that's left to buy new construction coming to the area in the Gainesville Hay Market, brought to you by Timber Ridge. So we understand you have a lot of exciting and some of the area's largest builders coming in and developers. We do, yes. Um, we're super excited. Um, we have Ryan Homes, which will be building in the Knoll, which will be on quarter acre home site. And then we also have Dries Homes and NV Homes, which we'll be building here um, pretty much right where we're standing on half acre home site. And these are all going to be single family? 100% single family homes throughout the entire community. And when are you anticipating the models are ready? Because of course that's what everybody wants to go to. Exactly the right, they want to walk <laughs> through the models. So as soon as the construction for Somerset Crossing Drive is complete, we'll be open and we hope that to be late November um, 2019. Awesome. How many houses are going to be here total? it will be right around 200 homes. So the big question is, are you going to have a pool? So we won't have a pool here on property, but we're very excited because we've been working with a local country club to be able to offer our Virginia residents um, the social amenities that they provide to all of their members, which will include a pool both indoors and out, all types of family programming from you know, Christmas events or holiday events to egg hunts to dinners and all types of different things that they'll be able to enjoy. So I know that you probably don't know every single model home that's going to be out here by all the builders, but you, can you give us a sampling of the ones that you maybe do for now? Absolutely. So Ryan Homes is going to be building their Seneca model um, and their homes prices are going to start from the upper 500s. Then we have Dries building the Rowan model and Envy building uh, the Stratford Hall model. Both of those builders will start from the low to mid sevens. Okay, and any idea of the square footage of each one possibly? So I believe that Ryan Homes will be starting right around 2,800 square feet and then the other two builders will be in the mid 3,000. So Stacy, we have a fantastic location here. I can't help but notice, I drive by this every day and I don't think I've ever really seen the road here before. We're right off Route 15 in Haymarket. We've got easy access to, to our south of 29 and to the north, we've got Route 66. Yeah, it's amazing. And then, you know, of course, amenities wise and shopping, you've got uh, Wegmans that you can just go up Old Carolina Road to get to. You can be in downtown Haymarket. You can jump up and go to the Harris Teeter on 29 or even Walmart's close, so yeah. you got everything right here. It's perfect. A yeah. mile away from historic Haymarket. Yep. We're super excited about the connection that this Somerset Crossing Drive will make for people in the community also and connect to the existing Somerset Crossing Drive, which will help alleviate a lot of traffic there as well. Yes, it will. Yeah. yeah. Well, Stacey, it's been amazing coming out here and learning everything that there is to know at this point about the community. I'm sure more stuff will come up, and um, it's I'm so excited about the model home opening. Thank you, we are too. We're very excited. Um, this project is very special to us. And if anyone would like more information about this community, you can visit live at virginiacrossing.com. Awesome. And again, thank you, Joe, for coming out. Amazing co-host as always. Always a great time, Leslie. Thank you for having me. And thank you for tuning into this week's edition of Going Gainesville. Bye.